Assalamu alaikum friends. In this video we are going to learn about user defined forming tools. These are the following procedure for using the forming tools. First we have to open a new file pod in a SOLIDWORKS. Select a plane which you want to sketch and make it to the normal view. First we have to draw the rectangle here. and give the corresponding dimensions as per your requirement. Initially we have to draw a form tool. After drawing the rectangle you have to just click OK. Then you have to apply the fillet in all the sharp corners. Give the corresponding radius value. Then click OK. Exit the sketch, go to the futures and select extrude boss or base with corresponding to our sketch. Give the amount of extrusion. Then click OK. Then select a face of the rectangle. Again you have to go to the sketch and draw the profiles for making a forming tools. Draw a closed profiles as per your requirement. Then exit the sketch. Go to the futures and select extrude boss or base with corresponding to our previous sketch. Give the amount of extrusion value. And then I have added a tapper here by using a draft. So I just specify the amount of degree for adding the draft. Then click OK. After that, we have to apply the fillet in all the sharp edges. I just select all the corresponding edges in a forming tool to remove the sharp edges. Likewise, we have to apply the fillet at the base of the profiles. Then click OK. Now the fillet is applied here. This is our forming tool. So go to the sheet metal option and select a forming tool icon. In the forming tool dialog box is appear here. In a stopping phase we have to select a intermediate phase of the tool. In a phases to remove we have to select a topmost phase. Now our forming tool is created. After creating a forming tool we have to save the component in a corresponding location as per your requirement. Give the file name for saving the component then click OK for save after creating a forming tool we have to add our component inside the design library so go to the design library in a task pan and select a add to library and select our corresponding component which we need to add into the library and select a corresponding location to add the forming tool into the library. I just add the forming tool in a design library. After that we have to open a new file pot and we have to draw the base part of the sheet metal where we go to form. So just I draw the rectangle here and give the corresponding dimensions as per your requirement. Give the corresponding dimensions value then exit the sketch 
go to the sheet metal option and select a base flange tab which corresponding to our sketch and specify the amount of thickness of the sheet metal now sheet metal is created now we have to import the forming tool which we created previously to make a form in the sheet metal so go to the design library and select a corresponding location where you add the material in your design library previously now the toolbox is loading here we have to select a forming tool options we have a forming tool option here inside the forming tool we have to select our corresponding form tool which we create previously you have to drag the form tool and place in our sheet metal you can also change the position based upon your requirement then click ok now the form tool is create a impact on sheet metal you can have to apply the different color for better visualization of the forming tool impact on the sheet metal if you have any doubts recording this video please post in my comment thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe in my channel